I am here at Outfest in Los Angeles at the Regal LA Live Theater, and this has been an incredible experience. I have watched shorts, features, and I am taking in everything because it has been such an incredible experience, and I can't wait to share it all with you guys. And I remember someone pitched 20s like 10 years ago when Lena was doing web series back when Issa Rae was like just on web series. And they passed on it so many times. They were like, no, we don't want to do this. We were like, come on, the millennials were fighting for it. So it's just incredible to see this journey 10 years later that it actually became a real thing. And this show's incredible. Um, so tomorrow we have the Fusion Rising Stars panel. <laughs> It's an exciting conversation with six QT POC actors on the cusp of major stardom. With Zoria Dele, Adam Faison, Alexander Gray, Poppy Lou, Leo Shang, and Tornatia. Panel takes place tomorrow at 5 p.m. And then we have the Fusion finale, the party where we close out our festival in style and screen our award-winning one-minute short um, movie contest. Um, Tuesday at the Los Angeles Theater. It's not too late to submit your film. I am one of the judges. What's up, you guys? My name is Janika Jojo Gibbs. And I'm Shantae Wins. And we are here at Outfest. We just did a screening for episode two and three of 20s. And I personally loved it, but I might have a biased opinion. I don't know. No, uh, first of all, that was amazing. You know, I'm, I'm gay gay. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I look for all my gay people to be able to play in the parts. The beauty about this is that I get to see somebody that look like me and remind me of me. And not only about that, that it's not even about just the LGBT, it's, it's a real conversation, it's a real person, and uh, I respect it and I love it. Y'all gotta check it out, BT Wednesdays at 10 p.m. on yeah. BT JoJo, <laughs> it's the new gay gay. You feel me? We Yo, 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 what's up? It's Nico Lara, director, producer. I'm so happy to be here at Outfest Fusion. I'm at the 20 screen and I intro the screening. I think Outfest is so important. It takes a young filmmaker, directors, and like really puts our stuff center stage, front and center. It's always good choices, good energy from the volunteers and the staff. I just love Outfest. Make sure you come see everything. To even be a part of this and to even be a tool in her box uh, to be able to produce great content. Um, and yeah, she, like you said, she's a powerhouse. She's out there doing her thing and doing it unapologetically and confidently. And, you know, you can just learn so much from her just being in her presence. And just like the goals that I wanted as an, as an actress. And um, yeah, just what I want to do as an actress is, 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 has aligned with what Lena wants to do as an, as an artist. So it's a dream come true to be able to work on a project like this. It's so awesome. Um, I'm just really grateful to see her telling her story, and like, I think I love a lot of her work, so much of it, and I think this is something that's so personal for her that you can really feel that, and you can tell, and there's a different kind of vibe, and I'm really excited and grateful. And Janika, I mean, you are playing a version of her, inspired by, what, what did she talk to you? I mean, you're a young actress coming up, what has she taught me? Yeah, or what lessons have you learned from her? Um, well, the first lesson straight out the gate in terms of my um, interaction with Lena was um, something I've said a few times, which is to stay ready and you don't have to get ready, you know. Um, it was just staying, like, staying practice, staying warmed up, and then, you know, when the opportunity came, you know, being able to execute and do it confidently. Um, I think that played a huge part in uh, being able to get this role and, um, yeah, she, and what I also learned is to give people chances, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's nothing wrong with giving people a shot um, and to turn around and reach back, you know, once you do a, a attain a certain level of success. You know, there's someone like Hattie with two friends, like Marie and, and uh, Mia, excuse me. Um, what do you, what kind of conversations are you hoping that this show starts, especially within communities of color? I think I'm so excited that the show is on BET. So it moved around a lot and it had been at who blah, blah, blah. We made the pilot at TBS. And so we didn't know that it would land at BET. And so to be able to tell this story to this particular audience, I think is not only like groundbreaking, but like really personally so exciting to me because I know so many people who who know how people like having in their lives. And yet they're, 
their expression of love and acceptance is not the, not there. So they love their friend, but they don't necessarily, or their aunt, or their niece, or their whatever, but they are, they haven't yet let that translate to their um, view of how they look at the world. And so I think when you get to see something back to you, told back to you on television, that sort of changes the way society thinks. And so I'm grateful that this is being told to this particular audience. Mm -hmm. The question was, you know, what are you hoping, you know, that communities of color will get out of seeing a dynamic between three friends like the characters that you play? Um, I think it's just, I think with any type of representation, it allows people to have empathy for one another and allows, it, it humanizes people and just the fact that Hattie is someone that happens to be queer and that sexuality isn't just at the forefront of the entire show is, is awesome. And yeah. It just makes it, I don't know, it makes it less of a big deal which I think is important to see. You know, I think being, hello? Okay, I'm here. We're back. Um, so being queer and a part of, you know, um, the black community or Latin community, um, this, yeah, this You're not right, me. <laughs> okay, cool. I, it's nothing new, you know what I'm saying? Like my mom had friends that were gay, and you know, my grandparents had friends that were gay. I think that, um, like like Gabby was saying, it's just something that I don't know. It's it's a weird thing. It's like why why are we not comfortable at this point? You know what I'm saying? So it's it's almost like we're kind of behind the times, in my opinion. You know, in terms of representation, and it's about time. You know, um, for you know black people to just chill out and people of color to chill out and <laughs> you know say for real, mind your business. <laughs> That's the key. Mind your business. Yeah, because I do think that, you know, there is some thought, some people think that gay people are friends with only gay people and straight people yeah. are only friends with straight friends, and that's obviously ridiculous. So, um, I actually, Gabby, I want to ask you a, a very serious question. What was it like kissing Big Sean? <laughs> Um, but he was so open and vulnerable and chill that I felt really comfortable with him. <laughs> and Hattie has a lot of potential and love interest going on. I mean, what's that like for you to kind of, you know, do these kind of romantic scenes and kind of play the field on camera? Yeah, you know, uh, it's been fun. You know, um, that's not my personality in real life. I don't even like touching people. Like that, for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but no, like, um, I'm in a relationship, but uh, she, you know, works in the industry, so she understands. And it's just a thing, like, once you step on set, like, who, you know, it's weird because I was telling <laughs> Christina, I won't even, like, drink after somebody. Like, <laughs> but if we go to set and they're like, you gotta kiss this person, I'm like, I right, bet. You know? <laughs> it's just, you know, it is what it is. And, you, you know, you dare to do a job, and, you know, you just wanted to. True. It's part of the craft, right? Yeah, the real thespian. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to the three of you because I think, um, yeah. As <laughs> it's important to say, I am bisexual, I am gay, I am a woman, I'm a man, I am non binary. And then there's other people that don't want to have labels and say that we don't need them. So I just would love to hear, you know, the three of you, what your perspective on, on labels in today's society and what you guys think. Deep question, sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, it's weird because even as I transitioned, you know, but went through my own personal journey, I was like, what do I label myself? When I came out to my mom, I just went up and straight up said, I'm a lesbian. You know, it, you know, I had been with men and stuff like that. I just didn't want to muddle the, the line, you know, and then if I would have said bisexual, she'd be like, oh, 